What's happening, people? We're back here once again on Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts. I'm super excited, as always, to be back inside the building. Excuse the state of my air. I'm not too, uh, I'm a bit worse for wear today, a little bit hungover from uh, a bit of a wild Friday, so um, do bear with me. However, I've just seen this drop from Memphis Depay, a track entitled Blessing. Now, we've seen Memphis Depay put together a couple of tracks before, um, but they're usually around sort of like 1 minute 30 with like, like, a, like 30 seconds of instrumental either side, more sort of just showing that he's interested in making music but this looks like it's the uh it's the first full length sort of feature tune we're going to be hearing from him or at least that i have heard from him there may be a couple of bits out there that i've missed um but yeah it's interesting he's a pro footballer obviously plays at leon now nearly moved to barcelona over the summer transfer window ex united player of course dutch international um so it's, it's quite mad that he's doing all this and is also putting out what i hope to be a banger so there we go interesting stuff um for everyone locking into the channel for the first time please do remember there will be a lot of pauses in this video it's the only way i can get stuff through copyright on thursday I had four or five videos literally not go up online because I wasn't pausing enough. I thought they may have uh, like relaxed the laws on it a little bit, but it looks like it's just getting tighter and tighter. So bear with me. There'll be a lot of pauses on this video to make sure it doesn't get blocked. And also so we can break down everything that's going on. Make sure you are also um, subscribing to the channel. If you aren't already, click that little button down below and turn notifications on. Leave a comment as well. Let us know exactly how you're feeling. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with the good stuff. Out to all the new subscribers as well, because I am seeing the numbers slowly but surely creeping up, which is uh, amazing. Um, yeah, let's crack on. More than ah! it. How can you see? How can you watch that and not be like put into a good mood? I'm assuming that's his like hometown um, in Holland, but everyone just looks like they're having such a good time doing it. I love to see it. Very interesting start, instrumental-wise. Very synthy, quite uh, quite wavy in the way it's been put together. I think the video is looking like it's going to be shot in black and white in its entirety as well, and it's looking like just Memphis having a good time by the looks of things. Obviously, surrounded by surrounded by kids. And the thing is, in Holland, he's the starting striker for Holland now, so he's a pretty influential guy. Um, it's kind of crazy. Seems like everybody wishing for the same shit. They want to roll me in a chain, oh yeah. This is sounding quite good, you know. Um, it's interesting. It's quite poppy, I suppose. It's quite poppy. It's almost it's quite post Maloney. I feel in the way he's kind of approached it, but there's it works. You know, nothing sounds out of place. You know, when you get sort of there are a fair few sort of influential public figures who'll go and make music, and it sounds just like a little bit off. You can tell it's been primarily handled by an engineer, and they just sort of done a verse or whatever. This sounds like he's putting harmonies in there. He's putting melodies in there. There's a lot of uh, a lot of interesting stuff going on. This is cool. You're the type of people that complain. Uh waiting for a blessing but forget to pray yeah. mm. they're wishing for the same shit this is quite good. I, I can't deny it. It's quite good. Again, nice vocal patterns he's using. Um, obviously talking about uh, people wanting blessings but not wanting to pray, not wanting to pray for them. I interpret that as people not wanting to put in the work to get the things that they um, they want in life, which is fair enough. That does aggravate me a little bit, but uh, it's sounding good so far. Uh, they want to roll me in a chain, oh yeah. mm. You're the type of people that complain, oh. mm. I've always wondered with stuff like this though. Do you reckon he's, if he was going to go into Barcelona, he would have pulled up and they'd have gone, enough of that. You're not allowed to do that anymore. Because he's swearing as well, you know? It, it doesn't seem like that big a deal. But if you're a professional footballer, literally like hundreds and thousands of, of kids watch you every single week and look up to you. So it's interesting that he's swearing on the tune. I mean, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. I think it's the most normal thing in the world. But it's, it's interesting that he's been allowed to do it. Forget to pray, oh yeah. I wake up and I look in the mirror. Mm. How can I complain when I really come? from zero tell me sometimes dress like it's kind of true you know um as with a lot of football players they don't a lot of football players don't come from sort of super privileged backgrounds it's something that's a bit of a misconception most people who are footballers tend to come from well the professional footballers don't tend to come from sort of rich established backgrounds you know so there is a lot of work into becoming a professional footballer it, it just is there's no getting away from it it's a graft um and when you get there it's it's all it's for the, the best players it's all graft no real playtime you know so um yeah this is i like the message he's putting across again it's it's, it's an unusual accent because obviously he's he's dutch um speaking in english and there's i always tend to find um northern european there tends to be a slight american influence on the accent um literally my cousin grew up in, in 
in um in belgium and obviously they're, they're very close by and i do tend to find when you um when you have sort of people english speaking people from that sort of area there tends to be a bit of an american tint on the accent which is quite cool so just look at my checks they're healthy i know people mad wealthy they ain't even happy you want a rollie and a chain you ain't got it so you hate i know you're going through some pain mm, nice no, instrumentals growing on me quite a lot as well there's a lot of uh it's quite fluffy you know there's quite a lot of pop elements going on in the instrumental behind but i do like the fact that he's just kind of vibing with it you know it's nothing like he's not trying to do too much he's kind of letting the instrumental do what it's supposed to do and it's assisting him um so it's a nice it's, it's a nice sort of in, uh, producer vocalist sort of marriage going on there but you gotta pray every day on your knees you'll be looking at the wrong places god is what you need Amen. seems like everybody wishing for the same shit it's a nice hook i've got to say that um it's, it's it's quite poppy i've said that already it is quite poppy but i'm liking i feel this is his vibe you know like you can see he's clearly quite a well-dressed guy and i feel this is the sort of stuff that may it's, it's kind of playing around him in, in, anyway so it, and I, I love the fact that in the back of the video we've got so many people just getting involved from what i presume is his hometown they want to roll in a chain oh yeah you're the type of people that complain oh Waiting for a blessing, but forget to pray. Uh, very wholesome vibes on the video, it has to be said. Very wholesome vibes indeed. Lovely stuff. <laughs> They're wishing for the same shit. Uh -huh. They want to roll me in a chain, uh -huh. You're the type of people that complain. It's proper catchy. I won't lie, it is catchy. I'm going to be humming this for the rest of the evening. I'll say I'm not feeling too tough. So it's just going to be going round and round in my head. But that's what you want from this type of tune. You know, it is, it's, it's got a more commercial appeal to it. And that is primarily because it is so catchy. And the melodies are soft on the ears. Like, it's, it's easy to listen to. You know, waiting for a blessing, but forget to pray. Oh, yeah. It seems like y'all don't really know what the goals in life. Mm. Score a lot of goals. Of course, of, of course there's going to be that's going to be playing football in the video. Like, imagine if Memphis Depay did a music video and there wasn't football being played. Like, what? What? Arguably top... He's, he's one of the best... What should we say? Is he one of the 50 best players in the world? He's definitely in the top 100 players in the world. So, that's quite crazy. When my focus is right, yeah. God is in control of my life, so let go of my life, yeah. I know that it's difficult, leaning on your own understanding, got you fucked. He's, he's, what he's doing quite nicely as well, from a vocal kind of angle, is he's finding the pockets. And obviously there's a lot of conversation online about pockets at the moment. Um, it seems to be a bit of a buzzword in rap music, but he's not necessarily sticking to a very sort of flat structure, which is what you tend to find um, tracks that are like primarily run by the producers. You know what I mean? Here he's kind of dipping and weaving and, and allowing himself to kind of find these different areas, not being super, super tight to the instrumental behind. And it's just a good vocal performance more than anything else. I'm gonna keep praying for my brother. He's still locked up. But one day he'll be free like genie out the bottle. I see your popping bottle champagne with the models the thing is as well if you were listening to this like not knowing he was a professional football player it, it, it like there's nothing about it which doesn't scream like professionalism you know it just sounds like a really well put together rap tune obviously context and he, it's, it's a little bit cheesy the context he's kind of going through you know talking very sort of i don't want to say basic but like very sort of stereotypical like oh aspire to be better sort of sort of um lyricism or whatever but it sonically I think it works really, really nicely. I think he's got—he's actually found a nice area that if he wanted to carry on doing stuff like this, he's, he's more than capable. I will never judge shit. Everybody done it, done it like a hundred <laughs> times. People lost their minds about some lights. You see what I mean, though? He's proper like going up and down the scales. He's moving in and out. There's there's a there's a lot of there's a lot to the vocal performance. And obviously, that, we don't know what's happened behind the scenes. It could be entirely instructed from a from a production angle. But it does seem like to me there's um. There's a fair bit of natural musical intuition going on. The bottles ace like I own the rights. You see all that ice dancing in the night. We don't worry about the price. I guess I was caught up in it. Like, like, it's, I'm trying to think of a good way to describe it. It's almost like to an extent Post Malone meets kind of early Lil Wayne, I feel. Like he's, the, the way he's kind of using different patterns and finding different pockets, it feels like that, but with like a, a Post Malone style vocal, because obviously there's that slight American tint to the accent as well. Don't know if that's a wild comparison, but I feel that's quite like a good way to describe it. Life too, I was stoned on everybody gone like you. That's all right, let them worry about what I do. Like everybody wishing for the same. And again, leading back into the hooks a lot of the time. That's a very nice shirt, even though it is in black and white. Um, but it does seem like it's a massive ice as well. Oh, Jesus. Um, but it does seem like he's 
from what I've heard of him before, it seems like he was almost like doing it because he, he was enjoying it. It was just a bit of fun. This seems like he's he's spent a fair bit of time on it. The, the video is quite crisp as well. Clearly, a lot of organizations gone into it. There's loads of people there. I mean, to be fair, if you say you're Memphis Depay and you're filming a music video, people are going to turn up. Let's be, let's be real. Be on the road, the chain, oh yeah. You're the type of people that complain, oh. Keep waiting for a blessing, but forget to pray, oh yeah. It's a good message, I suppose. It is a good message, I think. I don't know. I'm trying to work out whether I genuinely like it or not, or I'm not just impressed because it's Memphis. You know, like it, it's it, it's like seeing I don't know. It's, it's like it's like seeing Martial coming out and making making a tune. Like it. Like why why it, am I liking it because it's a footballer who I do actually quite like making it, and I'm impressed at the kind of level it is. Like, is it good for a footballer? Or is it overall quite good? I think it is overall quite good. As I said, it's a little bit cheesy. I think. But the most important thing about this is it looks like he's enjoying himself and that's all you can do in life you know do things that make you happy if making music and filming music videos makes you happy as a pro footballer you may as well do it like even though if when you are a pro footballer you you have a lot of you, you have a lot of restrictions on your life obviously you don't, you, you're not supposed to go out drinking you're not supposed to go and get mash up like there's certain dietary things you need to be sticking to there's a certain amount of exercise you need to be doing every day but i feel like there is still a few pocket pockets of time and if you spend if you're spending that time doing something creative i suppose it just just makes you a more complete person, really. Nice bridge as well, obviously here, cutting the drums out. This is more showcasing here. It's a very unusual shot, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's him kind of showcasing here how good the vocal is without the drums. So in the majority of kind of rap and hip hop tunes, it's the drums that make a tune move. It's everything else that kind of floats around it that makes it a full tune, but it's the drums that make a tune move. So it, it's, I'm gonna listen through this bridge and see if it still holds up. Nah, yeah. You're the type of people that complain, uh. Keep waiting for a blessing, but forget to pray, uh, yeah. They wishing for the same shit, uh. Spacey, it's nice. I like I like the extra reverb that's gone on to the the the, uh, the instrumentation in the background. It, it's it's sounding good. Um, and I think what it is, I feel it's a little bit out of time. Like I feel it's a little bit of a, this is sort of like two thousand and. 12 13 sort of rap for me like it's a little bit a little bit behind the times but at the end of the day if this is the type of tune that he wants to make and it, and it makes him happy then fair enough i can't be mad at it and it is of a good standard don't get me wrong they want a rolling in a chain oh yeah you're the type of people that complain oh. waiting for a blessing but forget to those little um little stabs in the instrumental as well those little wow wow though they, they had an extra layer of fluff shall we say just to pad it out a little bit there are a lot of people in the background for this as well it has to be said Pray, oh, yeah. There we go. Lovely stuff. I am I am a fan of this. Uh, visuals by Close the View. So there we go. Memphis Depay with a track called Blessing. Um, overall thoughts on this one. I think I'm coming down on the side of it's very good for a footballer. Um, is it a tune I would listen to on a day-to-day -day basis? Probably not because it's not my kind of vibe. However, if it is your sort of vibe, um, as in just the, the type of tune it is, if you were to listen to it not knowing he was a professional footballer, sounds good. It's of a good quality. The production levels are clearly there. Um, he's got a good sort of understanding vocally of uh, of how to use different rhythms and patterns and maneuvers. Like he's clearly got that in the locker. So yeah, it's an, it's an interesting one. It is an interesting one. I'll be keen to see where he takes it more than anything else. So um, if you have enjoyed this video, please do make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 4,000 um, subscribers ASAP. I've just seen a little fly fly in front of my uh, in front of my camera there as well. Um, but yeah, we're trying to hit 4,000 ASAP. The sooner we can do that, the better. And it is the growth of this channel is, is it's, it's astounding me daily. So thank you to each and every one of you who are subscribed. If you're not already locking in as well, you can check me out on Trickstar radio monday to friday 7 till 10 we are live in the building via the trickstar radio app via dab tune in radio cult and of course the website so do lock in from then 7 till 10 monday to friday i'm back in the studio from monday but for now people enjoy the rest of your saturday and we'll see you next time